sad story of Mr. Bump. The trouble was that Mr. Bump just could not help having little accidents. If there was something for Mr. Bump to bump into, he'd bump into it all right. For instance, if you were to see Mr. Bump walking down the street in your town, and if there happened to be something to bump into down that street, then you know what would happen, don't you? Bump. Mr. Bump was just the same at home. He lived in an extremely nice home. But even there, he couldn't help having those little accidents. One morning when Mr. Bump went outside his house, he noticed that the chimney pot had come loose in a storm the night before. I must fix that before it falls off, thought Mr. Bump to himself. And he hurried off to his garden shed to fetch a ladder. Somehow, they never seemed to last very long. As soon as anything got lost, or broken, or splintered, or chipped, or snapped, or cracked, or tore, or burst, or raved, or crunched, or split, or slit. Guess who got the blame? For instance, when Mr. Bump worked on a farm. He tripped over the farm dog. And spilt the milk. The farm cat lapped it up. For instance, when Mr. Bump was a postman, he got his head stuck in the pillar box. They had to fetch the fire brigade to come and set him free. <laughs> For instance, when Mr. Bump was a carpenter, he found that when he was hammering nails, he hammered his thumb most of the time, and the nail out at all. In order to recover from this series of rather unfortunate happenings, Mr. Bump decided to go away for a holiday. There, he could think about what sort of job he could do where he wouldn't be such a nuisance to everybody. So, he set off to the station to catch a train to the seaside. While Mr. Bump was on holiday, several things happened. For instance, he fell off a boat into the sea, and the lifeboat had to come and rescue him. For instance, one day when he was quietly walking along the beach, minding his own business, he got his foot stuck in a bucket. And as he couldn't get it off, he had to hop round with it on his foot for hours. And as he hopped along the beach, he hopped straight into a large hole that somebody had dug. And he had to stay there all night because he couldn't climb out on his own. Despite all these little accidents, Mr. Bump enjoyed his holiday. And while he was there, he had a splendid idea about what sort of a job he should do. It was quite the best idea Mr. Bump had ever had. An absolutely splendid idea. And 
now, Mr. Bump works happily for Mr. Barley, the farm. Mr. Barley has a rather large apple orchard on his farm, and that's where Mr. Bump works. Mr. Bump's job is picking apples, but he doesn't use a ladder to climb up the tree to pick the apples, like other apple pickers all oh, no. <laughs> no, Mr. Bump has a much better way of picking apples than that. He just walks about. And before long, Mr. Bump, being Mr. Bump, walks into a tree. Down falls an apple. And Mr. Bump catches it. This makes the job of picking apples much easier. Mr. Bump is very pleased about his new job, and Mr. Bow is very pleased about his new apple picker. So, you see, the story of Mr. Bump isn't such a sad story after all, is it? <laughs>